So this video is about scatter graphs and correlation and more specifically this is going to look at the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient and Pearson's product moment correlation coefficient. So those two I will look at and I will make a comparison of the two and I will talk generally about uh, scatter graphs as well. Now scatter graphs are normally used when data is bivariate. So there's two variables that are looked at for each data point. So there will be an X variable and a Y variable. Now you can also call them the explanatory variable, so that's your X variable, and the response variable, that's your Y variable. Okay, so remember, uh, the way you're going to choose which is X and which is Y, or which is explanatory and which is response, is by uh, thinking about the question in your statistics. So a question of the, uh, that, that you're investigating, it might be to do with um, ages and how fast someone is. So the ages may be plotted along the x-axis because you want to see if um, age has some kind of relationship with the, the speed that they can run at. So uh, th this is the kind of thing that you're going to be thinking about for explanatory variable and a response variable. So bivariate data, each data point will have two values. Now this can be plotted along here. Now first I want to think about the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. So Spearman's rank correlation coefficient, I'm just going to say SRCC. Now, this will give you a value between negative 1 and 1, okay? And we can calculate this, and we need to know how to calculate this in our course. And I just want to show you how I can plot some, uh, plot some crosses uh, in this space here, which will give a perfect 1 for Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. And if I, if I was to go the other way around, it would give a perfect negative one, okay? So perfect one would be a perfect positive correlation and, perfect, uh, and a negative one would be a perfect negative correlation, okay? So let's start with a cross here. Now, as long as I go more to the right, so I increase the value of x, and I go a little bit up, then I remain uh, uh, with a 1 for Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. So for example, if I put it here. So this is a positive correlation. So this one is more to the right and a little bit up. Now had I gone more to the right and a little bit down, that will then take uh, the, the value down. Okay, so I instead of having a perfect 1 for Spearman's rank correlation coefficient, it will no longer be 1. It can still be a positive correlation, but it will, ne it will not be a 1 because it won't be a perfect positive. So this is more to the right, and a little bit up. Now let's go a little bit more to the right and let's go a lot up. Okay, so this will also be fine. So if I put a cross here, this third cross I've drawn is a little bit to the right and more, more to the up. So, so this is fine. I can then go across here and a little bit up. So let's go there. So that one you can see is more to the right and a little bit up as well. So we still got a perfect Spearman's rank correlation coefficient of one. Now, if I go a little bit to the right and a little bit down, then that perfect one will go away. Okay, so notice that it doesn't look like a perfect correlation, but for Spearman's rank correlation coefficient, this will work out that this has a perfect positive correlation. Okay, let's do one more. Let's do another one here. And again, you can see I went to the right and I went up. So again, this is for Spearman's rank correlation coefficient, this will give a perfect positive correlation. Okay? So Spearman's rank is best used when there's correlation and the correlation may not necessarily be a linear correlation. So notice that these points will not fall into a line. Okay, so if I try to draw a line here, these points will be out. If I try to draw a line this way, these points will be out. This will not fit onto a line, but it's still a perfect positive correlation according to Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. Okay, so this is normally used when data has a positive or negative correlation, but may not necessarily be linear correlation. I will now talk through um, what the Pearson's product moment correlation coefficient um, is used for and how um, we can think about the numbers for this one. So uh, let's again start with a cross here. So let's mark a cross. And for this one, I need to have another cross, okay, so that I can um, think about what I'm what I'm going to do after that. Okay, so here's another cross. Now, Pearson's uh, product moment correlation coefficient, or the PMCC, I'm going to call it now, um, determines how good uh, of a linear correlation there is. Okay, so linear meaning in a line. So let me draw a line through these crosses. So let's do that now. So you can see that I've drawn a line there. 
and they go through my crosses. Now, so far, the two crosses that I have um, are on my line, and I needed the two to draw a line, okay? So now that I know where the line goes, uh, this is, um, these two are on a line. Now, if I have crosses on the line, so new crosses on the line, I'll do it in blue now. So if I have a cross here, my PMCC remains one because all of my crosses are on the line. Now, if I put another cross on the line, again, my PMCC remains one because all of my crosses are on the line. Now, it will not be one if crosses are away from the line. Okay, so if I put a cross here and a cross here, you can see that the crosses are quite close to the line. Okay, they are quite close, but they aren't on the line. Okay, so this will um, reduce the value of PMCC from one to less than one, but you can still see that it will be positive. It will be um, uh, between zero and one, closer to one than zero because th th these crosses are quite close to the line. Now, let me talk about um, how to draw a cross. So, for, for example, for the uh, Spearman's rank correlation coefficient, we looked at when there's a cross, we go right and up, 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 right and up. This will actually give a perfect Spearman's rank correlation coefficient as well. Okay, so for uh, Spearman's rank, this will give a perfect one because every time I go right, I'm going up. Okay, so right and up, and that happens to be the case the whole way through. Now, Spearman's rank will not be one if I go right and down. So let's go for a cross here. Okay, so this cross, you can see it's more to the right of this one and it's down. It's also more to the right than this one and down. Okay, instead of going up. So it won't give a perfect one for Spearman's rank anymore. But again, the PMCC will not be affected by this too much because it's not too far away from this line. Okay, so the PMCC will calculate um, uh, the, the correlation or the strength of linear correlation. So this is where PMCC is used and Spearman's rank is used when uh, uh, the, the cor there may be correlation, but it may be something like exponential or some other curve might uh, be a better model for that one. Now, I'm going to compare the two of them together now. So finally, we're looking at um, the two of them together, so Spearman's rank correlation, correlation coefficient and product, Pearson's product moment correlation coefficient. So this one here, you can see for Spearman's rank, we'll give a perfect one, okay? Because as we go up right, we also go up. And the PMCC will give 0 0.6 or around that number because this is not in a line, okay? So it's not perfectly on a line. Here we've got Spearman's rank uh, around negative 0 0.7 because you can see I went right but up that time. But overall you can see the trend is down or there's a negative correlation here. So this would be around negative 0 0.7. The PMCC will also be around negative 0 0.7 uh, because this is quite close to a line but not completely on the line. Okay, But there is a negative linear correlation there you can see. Here, we're going to get uh, SRCC, or Spearman's rank, uh, giving negative one, because you can see as we go right, we go down, right, and down, right, and down, right, and down. And PMCC will be negative one, because these actually fall in a line. Okay, I can draw a straight line through all of these. Okay, so that would be negative one there. And this last one, you can see, is negative uh, one for, again, Spearman's rank, because as I go right, I go down, right and down, all the way through. And PMCC will be around negative 0 0.6 because they will not fall in a line, but they kind of go down, little bit linear, but not linear enough for this to be closer to negative 1.